Hello everyone, welcome back. Tom with Capo Fetish. So in these days of skyrocketing prices, there's nothing like finding some cheap thrills. And I found cheap thrills aplenty last weekend at a record store called Freak Beat Records. They're located in Studio City, California. It's kind of east, the eastern end of the San Fernando Valley. Really cool record store, kind of a mom pa shop kind of vibe, very low key. Um, they always have a ample stock of really great records, a lot of genres throughout the year. But what I really love is twice a year in January, mid January, and mid July, they have these store wide sales there at Freak Beat. Everything in the store is on sale. All the albums that are 99 cents and CDs that are 99 cents are reduced to 25 cents for five days. So it's just a field day for cheap thrills. So I went in there and just uh, looked around and ended up finding some, some pretty cool stuff. So I thought I'd show you. Um, I, I picked up these CDs here for a quarter each. Uh, Paul Weller's Studio 150. I've never heard any of these any of these CDs, by the way. Never heard this Paul Weller album. So I, I bought that. Uh, I also picked up this uh, Delamitri album from 92 called, uh, what is it called? Change Everything. I have a few of their albums, but I've never heard this one. That looks interesting. Also, uh, remember those Time Life uh, albums that they would advertise on TV late at night? Bought a few of those. Here's a 1961 sealed for 25 cents each. It's pretty cool. I like I like I love compilations, especially when they're a quarter each. Also, uh, some, the British band Coolest Shaker. I remember somebody playing this for me back maybe 15 years ago. This is their first album. Pick this up for 25 cents each. Then I thought, why not throw in some classical as well? So I picked up uh, Mozart Symphony number 35, 40, and 41, sealed for a quarter each. Never had any Nancy Griffith in my collection. I picked up her just kind of a, a random best of Millennium Collection by MCA. Looks pretty cool. Also, I remember this came out years ago. I was kind of interested, but never bought it. Uh, Billy Bragg and Wilco, Mermaid Avenue, Volume 2. Nice buy for a quarter each. Also, <laughs> being such a huge Kings fan, I, I did get rid of this album at one point. I wasn't impressed. But since it was a quarter each, I bought it back. And uh, I do like the song Thanksgiving Day, which is, I think, a bonus track on this album. Ray Davies, Other People's Lives. 25 cents. Always heard of Whiskey Town, but never heard of the music, so I thought I'd pick this up. Then, uh, how about a little Woody Guthrie, My Dusty Road? This looks pretty cool. 25 cents each. I picked up this uh, Lester Young and the Piano Giants on the Verve label, Compact Jazz. These were really... Um, uh, all over the place back in the 90s, these these compact jazz verve collections. Uh, I got the best of the Ohio, best of the Ohio players, but their biggest hit isn't on here, which is uh, what is it? Love roller coaster. So I don't know what this is. I'll have to check this out. Um, never really got into Blur, but I thought I'd pick this up. Why not for a quarter? Park Life. I think this is the high point of their career, supposedly. Give that a shot. How about uh, the ultimate Bobby Darren? Splish Splash and all those hits. Mac the Knife. Another Time Life 1956 unopened. CD. Another uh, jazz CD, uh, Dizzy Gillespie and his big band. Then I picked up this Dexter Gordon album, Sophisticated Giant, no booklet included. It looks like an outtake. It has a puncture hole in the back there. Why not? Right? For a quarter. And then uh, this De Dead Presidents uh, soundtrack, a lot of great soul on here. Very cool. Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, live at Carnegie Hall. Social distortion, somewhere between heaven and hell for a quarter each. Woohoo! And um, Sam Phillips, Omnipop. 
Also picked up a few, um, a few albums as well. I was really surprised to see this for 25 cents. It's a Paul Revere and the Raiders Greatest Hits on the original Columbia Mono label. Love that label. And actually in pretty good condition. No inner sleeve or anything, but for a quarter each, come on, got to grab it. Also, um, Niels Lofgren Grin. This is a quarter. Never heard this before. Thought I'd try this out. And then we've got a Shootout, Shootout at the Fantasy Factory by Traffic. Never owned this album before. I have their earlier albums, but not this one. It's in pretty good shape, too. Quarter. Another another Traffic album. Well, Welcome to the Canteen. This is in pretty good shape. The, uh, the cover is not, but the album is. That's really all that matters, right? Uh, I had this album years ago. I don't know why I got rid of it, and then I regretted it. Not that it's a fantastic record or anything, but the Southern Hillman and Foray Band. Pick this up again for a quarter each. And then uh, I think this is, I don't know if this is a great Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer album. I'll give it a shot. Pictures at the Exhibition. Picked it up for a quarter. And then I picked up a few DVDs that were, that were only half off. The Beatles Help, the re-release here. I think this came out in 07 has two discs of special features and then the main feature. This is $9.99, half off. It was like $4.50. That's a really good deal. It's all about good deals these days, folks. And then I uh, picked this up for, this was like eight bucks. It was only four bucks, half off. The Tammy Show, this is an, an absolute must have. So many great acts on here. James Brown, Beach Boys, Leslie Gore, Jerry and the Pacemakers, Supreme Stones. Yes. Then uh, a long time ago, I think it was maybe the mid '90s, there was that history of rock and roll um, documentary series, and I picked this up too for like two dollars. I think two fifty. I think two dollars and fifty cents. This is one of many. I think it was like an eight part episode or something or other. But anyway, thought I'd just show you these. That, that there are good deals still around in this day of inflation. And uh, if you ever get out to Studio City, California, check out Freak Beat Records. It's a really cool record store, a lot of cool stuff there. The owners are very, very uh, knowledgeable, very cool. Um, I think Freak Beat, along with Amoeba and CD Trader, I think are my go-tos of the areas of where I live. Those are really cool record stores, but yeah, check out Freak Beat. Great sales twice a year, but also just on a, any given day, check them out. They have great deals regardless, but uh I guess the next deal is in July. More quarter CDs, more quarter albums, and everything half off. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.